So welcome to this video which demonstrates how to export a scientific word or scientific workplace document to create a web document, an XHTML file, which you can put on a web page and view with Google Chrome or any other web browser. So the first thing is make sure please that you're using a cur the current or recent version, recent build of scientific word or scientific workplace. On a Windows machine, it's on the Help menu, Help About. On a Mac, it's the SW or SWP menu, About. So here we're using build 6.0.21. Please be using at least 6.0.20 in order to follow through with this export to HTML. So the first thing is to load the document that you want to export. I'm simply starting with a new document, Articles, Albert Walker. So here's the document that we want to use to create an X HTML page. I'll magnify the view size with Command Shift Plus. That's Control Shift Plus. Notice these green helper lines here. We'll talk about those later. If you don't want those to show, then simply turn them off on the view menu, view helper lines. So let's go to file, export to web. Remember where we're putting it. I'm putting mine in SW docs or SWP docs. I'm going to call it Elbert because the document, the scientific word document is called Elbert Walker. The first pitfall is here, save as type. You would have thought that a complete zip file was sufficient, that that was everything. In fact, you need to click the drop down and go to zip file with web refs and math jacks. So that's pitfall number one of two. Save as a zip file with web refs and math jacks. Remember where you're putting it and click on save. And then go to Windows Explorer or Finder on the Mac go to uh, documents and SW docs or SWP docs. There's our zip file that we just created. Pitfall number two only really applies on a Windows machine. On a Windows machine, you can click the zip file and it opens up to the right of there showing the XHTML file, which you would think you could click. But in fact, if you do that, you don't get the, the full representation of the document you do need to extract the zip file in order then to create the new folder containing the, the document that you want. On a Mac, simply click on the zip file, double click, that creates the folder for you. And within that folder is the XHTML file. Open that with your favorite web browser. And there is our document showing the mathematics. Now there we see also the green helper lines, which I mentioned before. Probably you don't want those showing on a web document. And so let's go back to the scientific word, scientific workplace document. Let's do that again without the helper line showing. View a uh, file export to web, zip file with web refs and math jacks. Save this as Elbert2. Go to Finder, Windows Explorer. Here's the zip file, double click on it. Uh, here's the folder that we've now created. There's our XHTML document. Open that with our web browser. I just magnify the screen size. Now that's a footnote there. That does have a line around it, but our other displayed equations now don't have the green helper lines around them. Just one downside to note with exporting to a web page, because our LaTeX document hasn't gone through LaTeX, in fact, the equations are now not numbered, and the cross-references, such as there and down here, are, are, are not resolved. And so simply, uh, you'd want to delete those before creating the, the web document. So that's how to create a web document from a scientific word or scientific workplace file. Thanks for watching.